Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodwill, and over there is Christopher Drives. As you can hey, see, everybody, welcome back. We all got Admiral Swag on. We're repping our guys, just you know. Oh, brand new Admiral hoodies. You can get these at uh, MilwaukeeAdmirals.com. Go over to their ads merch spot on the page. It'll take you to Square Up. These, they're really nice, really warm. You the might Captain want to go Crunch up logo. a size if you yeah, are Captain an XL. You might want a two X, but yeah, yeah. Um, uh, it's kind of like buying a, a a shirt from uh, like you buy like something from like uh, I bought in wrestling T-shirts from Japan once, and I had to get a two X just because the XL in Japan is small. <laughs> yeah. So it's so uh, definitely you definitely want to size up with these particular hoodies. Yeah, they're uh, we have they're warm. They're after. warm and comfortable. I like it, but I I wish I would have got a little bit larger size. Yeah, I was I I normally wear larges, so I went to the XL, and even the XL was like. Yeah, I mean, it's again, still I did put on a little bit of COVID hoodie. weight. Yeah. Anyways, but, we have bigger announcement to make. Damn, go. We hit fifty on YouTube. All right, yeah. so fifty on YouTube has been a goal for about four years for us on and off. But oh. this year, ever since we've been full, fully committed to YouTube, we went from like, what, 20 at the beginning of the year or less than that, and now we're at 50? We were at 19. Oh, damn. Less than 20. <laughs> yeah. So we went from 19 to 50 in three months. Thank you guys so much. Also, for all of you on Facebook, over a thousand. You guys already know the deal. Y'all have been down this list with us. Some of you guys were there when we hit 10. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for you people on Facebook, what are you waiting for? Go to YouTube. All you got to do is click subscribe. Then you choose what platform you want to watch us on. It's yeah. free regardless. And you like free. Yep. All righty. So today... We have to talk about our good sponsors over there at Hockey Locker. Yes, yes, we do. Hockey Locker, 2002 West Hart Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Now we can get into the whole point of the video. See, Dan? This is hang a on, special video. hang on. While you're on the internet, please subscribe to us on YouTube. Our new goal is 75. Yeah, let's hit 75 by the end of the year. We have plenty of time to do it. But yeah, we got about seven months, eight months, nine months. Whoa, 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 whoa. By the end of the season, Dingo Bear, don't get tired. You said end of the year. I was trying to give them time. <laughs> Wise ass. By the end of the season. By the end of the season. The Everblade season included. or the NHL season? Uh... Either one, because the Everblades are probably going to the playoffs, and there's an outside shot that the Predators make the playoffs. So, either one. All righty. Well, with that being said today, the uh, Florida Everblades took on the Greensville Swamp Rabbits. Thank God for a new opponent. It was really nice to see somebody we haven't seen since probably about the first two weeks of the season. Yeah, I think uh, before tonight, we only played them twice. Yeah, we played. That was uh, week three of the season they played them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, how long ago that was? That was in December. Yeah, no. This league actually started before the NHL and AHL. Yeah, um, so we're really happy with how things are going there. Uh, stats. Oh. Um, That's your cue. Stats. Yeah. All right, anyways, in the first period, uh, Greensville outshot the Everblades 9-8. to eight. Uh, Second period, uh, Florida outshot Greensville 21-6. to six. And then in the third period, Greensville outshot the Everblades 11-7 to seven for a total of Florida 36, Greensville 26. Ouch, they got outshot 21-6 to six in the second. Ooh, man. I don't realize they took that many shots in that period, but damn. All right, Dan, go. All right. Scoring in the first is Liam Picaro. Liam Picaro played for um, 
the uh, I want to say the uh, Rampage last season. So to be in the ECHL, oof. Um, uh, he had 30 points in the AHL last year, so I don't know why he's there unless it's just a team opted out. Maybe. Yeah, huh? that's a possibility. Anyway, that was assisted by Jack S- uh, Sedak and Max Zimmer at the 7.48 mark. Then yeah, That was the, for Greensville. Yeah, this is also for Greensville at the 7.57 mark. So literally 10 seconds later, Joey Haddad with an assist by Anthony Rinaldi and Gordy Meyer. Then at the 17.33 mark for the Greensville Swamp Rabbits was Anthony Rinaldi oh, I'm sorry, Ren- Rinaldi with an assist by Max Zimmer and Joey Haddad. Then in the second period, scoring shorthanded at the 422 mark was Joe Pendenza. That seems like all he can do is score shorthanded, but that's besides the point. Um, With an assist by Leaf Co-Coper and Logan Rowe, right after that, Leaf Co-Coper takes a two-minute interference penalty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then scoring at the 1337 mark for the Everblades, your captain and now league leader, John McCarron. With an assist by Alex Scott. Three, two, <laughs> Swamp Rabbits heading into the third. So, uh, then 30 seconds into the third, uh, David Brawl had a goal with an assist by Liam Picaro for the Swamp Rabbits. Or uh, two. Then at the 804 mark, uh, Tommy Martian scored equal strength, no assist. Um, then, Four three. Then at the 1801 mark, uh, Everblades pulled the goalie. Uh, Garrett Thompson nets the empty net with an assist from Frank Hora and Joey Haddad. Uh, five three. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. I did my math for right. right? Yes, 5-3. Okay, cool. All righty. In that was uh, Bednar for the Swamp Rabbits. He stopped 33-36 and 36 with three goals against. Uh, then we had Jake Hildebrand with, stopping 21-25 with four goals against. Dang, that empty net guy. The empty net guy is always letting in goals. Agreed. Agreed. He, he, he's useless. <laughs> uh, the power you know, play is four four four, I think, right? Power play. Okay. The power play. For the swamp rabbits, nothing. For the armor blades, nothing. Oh, they were oh, both for oh, four, four even. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, your three stars of the game. A third star was Liam Carl for the uh, Greensville Swamp Rabbits. A uh, second star was Joey Haddad for the Greensville Swamp Rabbits. And first star was uh, uh, Rinaldi for the Greensville Swamp Rabbits. Attendance today at the, what is it called? Bon Scours Wellness Arena. Uh, was 2,176. Uh, referee was Kyle Le- Leekun. Uh, linesman was Shane Gustafson and Brian Bray. Holy crud. Three new ones. Gustafson. Why does that name sound familiar? Well, Gustafson is spelled like Gustafson from Philadelphia. No, no, but I could have swore he was a referee in the AHL last year. Uh, he possibly could have been a linesman. Something like that. I could have swore he was uh, some sort of official in the AHL last year. Uh, but that is all we got. Tomorrow we got to about your crap list? Uh, my crap list. Ooh. You forgot about your favorite topic. COVID. <laughs> well, besides them, there's like two other people you wanted to add to it. Yeah, let me get into that. I was trying to ignore it today. I was in such a good mood. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, vent. We all have to. <sighs> yeah, I know. You take pride in this. <laughs> hey, yeah, my crap list gets people famous. Just yeah, ask see, Gilly we're Coleman. making people famous. And Alex Carey. <laughs> all right, crap list in titles. Everybody. I'm just... All right, we've got Miles Powell, negative three, Max Cook, negative two, Michael Hutzenberger, negative three, Blank Wadicki, minus two, Colby Sissons, minus two. Uh, that'd be it. If you're wondering, no, Arvin Atwal did not make it. He was a plus one. Hey, uh, where's Wadicki been? He hasn't really done too much the last couple of games. I know he's been out there, but he hasn't done anything. It, it seems like it's been a while since he's been on the point sheet. I think it's 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 he's playing a little softer. I've noticed his passes have been a little weaker as well. I'm wondering if he doesn't have like some kind of wrist or shoulder injury that's and he's not really disclosing the info of anybody. Correct. Yeah, but that's, I noticed that's he hasn't neither really been here the nor there years. though. That's just a speculation type thing. Yeah, if I had actual info, we would have broke that news by now. Um, speaking of breaking info. Nothing. Um, that I'm aware of, nothing. Alex Ovechkin's awesome, but everybody knows that. Hang on a second. Hang on. Um... Breaking news is that if you comment on this video within the next 24 to 48 hours, you will be put into a drawing to win an Admiral's bobblehead. Wait, really? Yes. Um, Says who? Me. Which one are you giving away? Haven't decided yet. That's for me to know and them to find out. Can you tell me off camera? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was gonna say, I sure hope you're gonna tell me off camera. Yes, this is go. This is a strictly a a a one time thing. You must be subscribed to our page, and also. Ah, uh, uh, here's now. Here's you got to be subscribed to us on YouTube and Facebook, and you got to give us a comment. Yep. Or and give you a free bobble. Yeah. Well, we will even ship it to you. No charges, no nothing. Exactly. We're giving you a free bobblehead. You just got to give us a subscribe on YouTube, a like and a follow on Facebook, and a comment. That's yeah. all free. You're doing like nothing. And just this, this drawing will end at the end of the weekend when we conclude our last video. So basically a Sunday night sometime. Yeah, and um, Wednesday, I believe we will be announcing who gets it. And we will okay. be contacting that person. Oh, you want to know what's going to suck? How are we going to know like who's all subscribed to us on YouTube? Because we don't have uh, the ability to check out our list of subscribers. Well, there's a way. Okay, okay. I, I got this. Okay, I'm just making sure because uh, I don't want to like give it to the wrong person, you know? It's all good. We got you covered, guys. So okay. if y'all want an Admiral's Bible, that's this one next weekend. We might decide something else. Who knows? But we'll see y'all later. Yep. Peace.